Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love quickie. So we're going to be starting with the angel answer oracle cards. This card will either become a part of the reading at the end, or it will answer whatever question you have. Two, three, four. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. There's too many cards. I usually do five shuffles, but oh boy. Okay. Uh, three cards? That's an awful lot. Well, let's see what happens, right? Let's live dangerously, Leo. My lovely fire signs. Thank you very much for being here. Really appreciate it, Leo. Next, we're going to get the Romance Angel Oracle card for Leo. What does Leo need to hear? Five. Oh, check that out. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, this could mean you're getting engaged. It could also mean that if you are dating, that you begin a committed single, you know, a committed monogamous relationship. Could be an engagement. So whatever it is, to me, that means you're your love life is ascending to the next level. Congratulations, Leo. That's awesome. Let's see. What does Leo Woe need to know? Okay, any other cards? For Leo. That's pretty funny because at first it said stop, then it said don't stop. So here we go. So that's the last card. There's a second to the last, to the next, and the next. So this is interesting. You have engagement with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison. So I'm wondering if... Hmm. I'm actually going to put the, all the cards up because this is an interesting spread. So Leo, you have a relationship that's ascending to the next level. You have a self-imposed prison and you have the seven of swords, which is a partial victory. So, and then you have the judgment and the world. Wow. I want to say this is a relationship and you know what? Somebody else had almost the exact same uh, reading. It was one of the uh, earth signs. So without the engagement though, which makes yours kind of interesting because it looks to me like in this relationship at first, there may have been a part or there may be a part where you feel stuck, but you're choosing to stay stuck. And things are moving along a little, which is the Seven of Swords. You know, it's a, a partial victory. And then you have the Judgment, which is like things changing. And this to me would be that higher level of relationship. And the world would be you guys coming out on the next level. And you are, it was Taurus. I think it was Taurus because they also had the world. So this reading... You could be Leo, but you could also, you know, if that reading is very similar, I'm wondering if you don't have um, Taurus as your rising sign or Taurus as your moon sign, because here's Leo, here's Taurus, and this was in the Taurus reading. The world card is like coming out. I always think of it as like, here I am, here's the new me. And if you are getting engaged, you know, here it is. This is you coming out the other side. So I feel like this is a relationship that has been through some definite struggles and maybe felt a little stuck at times, which would explain the the swords there that, that uh, mentally stuck. Should I move forward? Can I move forward? And moving forward, but not being completely sure because you're still not 100% because you've only got five of the seven swords. But it looks like it works out because the world code is a good thing, you know, and everybody looks happy. So let's see what your angel answer oracle cards are. 
Well, you got three cards, so it's going to be a little hard to work them all in. No. So if you are asking, am I getting engaged this year? No. <laughs> Maybe you are moving to a different level of commitment. Between getting engaged, I mean, now it can be just moving in together, which is not just, that's a big deal. But don't stop. And within the next few months. So... <laughs> I want to point something out to you, Leo. Remember I said that you were stuck and you weren't sure, but you were still moving ahead. I think that's why, you know, maybe you had said, do I end this relationship? No, don't stop. Things are getting better and moving forward in the next few months. I feel like these three cards are basically saying what those cards are. This is like the, the uh, Cliff Notes version, if you know what Cliff Notes are. So, Looks wonderful, Leo. Lots of luck to you. Good luck. I love it. And remember, take time for you. Bye-bye.